How's it going YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Fish Me. Your boy DJ Bass. Today we are going to sit down in my office and talk about catfishing. Is it just me or people who wear like mask a lot? You guys break out? I do. I don't know. Just I hate wearing masks. But we gotta do it. That way we stop the spread. That way I can start fishing with you guys because I really want to fish with subscribers and have fun. So in today's topic, we are talking about catfishing fish fishing that is right a lot of you guys have been asking me about about what rod i use about what line hooks bait how to locate all these great questions that i really want to answer you guys in today's video we're gonna do that today so with that being said if you guys are new to this channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button which is i'm horrible at this hit that subscribe button leave some comments down below hit that thumbs up and hopefully you guys enjoy this video i do have my notes here my arsenal we're gonna start off with the rod and reel first, okay? So, chill, hold on. Let's sit back a little bit. So this is the Dobbins Champion XP, okay? Now I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering why I'm using a swim bait setup for catfishing. To be honest with you, I love swim bait fishing. And when I bought this rod, I initially bought it for swim bait fishing, but in the back of my head, I knew I was gonna do catfishing this season. I had this rod ready to go for both scenarios, right? Now the weight that this rod can handle that I feel comfortable with is around two to three ounce. Uh, four ounces is a little heavy, five ounces is extremely heavy for this rod. Uh, even though it's rated for five ounce, I just prefer the three, the two to three ounce weight. And on here, as you guys can see, I do have a three ounce weight. It casts great, I mean, it handles fish good. The only downfall of this rod here is that the butt section here is a lot smaller than the Dobbins Fury, which I will compare it for you guys in a bit here. It doesn't have enough leverage, right? It's great for swim bait. Like if you're throwing a one ounce to two ounce swim bait, it's perfect because you're pretty much fishing it just like this, right? You're just fishing it like what you normally would for a retrieve, right? For a power retrieve. Other than that, the rod is sensitive. It's strong, it's sturdy. It doesn't feel like it's gonna break on you when you when you sweep the hook, when you pin the fish, when the fish jumping around, digging, it doesn't feel like it's gonna break. Plus, it's lifetime warranty, so can't go wrong with that one. So the rod is a 795, meaning it's 7 foot, 9 inches. It is a medium heavy, so it's not too stiff of a rod. It's great for sensitivity. It's great for, it allows the fish to pull and fight and uh, zigzag, whatever it wants to do. Keep the fish pin, bring the fish in safe, and yeah. So the reel that I have on here is the Shimano Tranks. Tranks, 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 Tranks. Anyways, it is a 7-2 gear ratio. Uh, the handle is fairly big right it's big enough this is what it looks like i don't know if it's gonna focus focus oh, there it goes tranks all right this is what it is it has that nice silver color with the black uh nice kind of dark blue handle right it's pretty cool yeah this is the reel for it um handle fish just fine it does not slip when you set the hook uh, when it locks it locks it feels great it lives up to its name so this is the first combo which is shimano tranks with the Dobbins Champion XP 795 swim bait top water rod. And yeah. Um, so the second combo that I have here in my hand is the it's really dirty because I use it a lot with cupping. So this setup here is the Dobbins Fury, the one I was talking about. This one's affordable. Oh, by the way, the Dobbins Champion is like 259 or something like that. Just look it up. It's pretty expensive. Uh, if you have the money, power to you. If you don't, it's cool. But if you want to stay in a budget, to be honest, in my humble, humble opinion, the Dobbins Fury Rod is like the go-to rod for me. Let me explain why. Right off the bat, the handle. I love the section of this. Like this is the perfect length for me. I'm 5'5". Five five. I don't have extremely long arms like a six foot guy would. Uh, this right here, it gives me the leverage, the power. Let me just compare it, okay? I just don't want to bang up the... Did you guys see that? That is a big difference right there that's a good two inches off and it makes a big difference here let me let me line it up perfectly right there okay that was perfect yeah that's about almost three inches honestly and that's pretty uh that's pretty crazy when i set the hook i have i could tuck this under my armpit you see here it passes my armpit right that's great right i'm holding it like this if i'm keeping a fish high from the rocks it feels good uh Power is right here. I can handle it in. And that's just me. I just prefer the longer handle here over my Dobbins Champion XP. All right, so grand finale. This setup did just come in. I took it out at least two times. Have not yet caught a catfish off of it 
because I didn't go anywhere like Oshkosh or something, a bigger river system. I was just fishing like around the bank here. Can you guys guess? Guess. Comment down below right now. What do you guys think I got? I did expose it on my Instagram, but yeah, comment down below now. What is it? I'll wait. All right, so the setup that I have here that I was really geeked out to get was, again, I like the Dobbins Fury for catfishing and swim bait. Dobbins Fury, $7.95, fast action, same thing as the other guy, no, nothing different. The only difference is the real, what the freak is that? Right, exactly, yeah. You guys are probably like, that's a big old, like, what are you trying to catch, a shark? <laughs> no, I'm trying to catch Nemo. This reel right here is the Abu Garcia Ambassador 6501C3. C3, yeah, C3. The 501 pretty much just mean left-handed. The 6500 is the right-handed, right? You can look it up on Google. I am left-handed retrieve, you guys have, didn't notice, but I could do right too, because I'm weird like that. This reel right here had me so geeked up because, check this out. So, turn it on, click the release here, and if a fish bites it, Oh, hey, anyway, got too excited there. But this thing has a clicker. It now has a clicker. I don't have to put a, a stupid belt on my rods. I don't have to look back every time. Anytime a catfish pulls my bait. I love that sound. It'll just, let me just do this real quick. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I've been waiting for this my whole life. Yeah, man, I love this reel so much. I did add a little like custom uh, not a custom, but an, uh, like a random handle here for a little bit. I do have the power handle coming in and I will make more videos of like showing the whole setup. I'm super excited because this reel right here is built for big fish. It's built for uh, salmon fishing, cat fishing, maybe big buffaloes, carp, whatever. You can handle big fish with this thing and I will be replacing this handle with the power handle and it's going to be amazing. Like it's going to be so cool. I'm going to be so happy, so geeked out. Anyways, I gotta chill out. This is the 65 pound Power Pro braid. 30 pound floral, I will be picking up 40 pounds because I'll be chasing big monsters. Same setup, swivel, bead, no roll sinker. Three ounce, bead, two bobber stopper, and braid. I'm geek! Yeah, I'm, I'm just so geek to use this setup. Can't wait. So that is my catfish setup. Now I do want to talk about bait, location, and how to set the hook on CERN hooks okay i get a lot of comments saying that why am i setting the hook on uh catfish right when i'm using a circle hook because it's just fun right it's fun to just you know just hook set them and you know, they go nuts and they start running in 20 feet of water and it's exciting okay i mean to be honest i i have i've done it the correct way which is when they bite the bait all you do is just reel it in tight you know and just just pick up the speed to apply pressure and that circle hook will eventually um let me get a circle hook out here the circle hook will eventually just you know it'll roll and it'll, it'll pin the fish's mouth but when you just uh, you know what i mean you, it just makes you feel good right it makes me feel good so chill stop making fun of me <laughs> plus it's because i've been using like j hooks a lot i mean i i'm a diehard j hook fan like i love j hooks this is my j hook right here so if you guys don't know the difference let me get the correct hook size. That way it's a better comparison. All right, if you guys don't know the difference, this is the difference right here. J hook, shaped like a J. Circle hook has a little bend to it, okay? Just like that, boom, yeah, rocket science. But yeah, that's what it looks like. That's what it is, my crusty old fingers. And J hooks, you can pretty much stick them if you want to and have a good time. Uh, circle hooks, let them bite it and run off with it just apply pressure by reel it in or just maybe a tight lean back sweep other than that yeah bait the biggest deal of catfishing is the bait i don't care what anybody says the bait determines your catfish uh outing okay because i have tried shrimp i have tried cup bait such as bluegills and crappies and panfish whatever shiners suckers fathead minnows and shads to be honest with you, all of them work, okay? Every single one of them work. It just depends on the river system. It depends on the season. That's the honest truth. As long as you cast it in the correct like depth, uh, which I'm gonna talk about location here in a bit. As long as you cast it in the right depth and the right area, like gravel and I don't know, maybe weeds, whatever, it works, okay? Now my favorite bait to use, if you guys are wondering, is cup baits. Bluegills, shiner, slash suckers, if you can get it from the bait shop, or shad, my favorite all time be killing it with those three baits and 
It's been cool. How to locate these catfish. I know this video is getting so boring. David, where are the catfish? Chill, right? I'm trying to make this informative for you guys because I think I know stuff. So let me feel good about myself. So in the summertime, catfish are located to me, in my opinion, in the deep. Duh. Yeah, we get it. <laughs> Yeah, they're just in the deep. Now, early season when the water's a little cooler, I'm just gonna guess, right? Don't quote me on this. I'm just gonna say 65 degrees to 70 degrees. They are shallower. It's that perfect peak, right? Like 65 to 70 degrees. They're gonna hang out in like five feet of water to 10 feet of water. That's like normal for us. Now, other states, I can't talk about it because I don't know. <laughs> from my experience, uh, shallow water from five, even two, three feet of water too. I've, I've caught them at Burlington where the water's only like four feet there and the rest is like two feet of water. Doing your thing, hunting, eating panfish, whatever. Caught them shallow. Eventually, when, throughout the summer, when it gets hotter and hotter, it's just the idea of like, okay, it's getting hot. Where are the fish going to go? Obviously, they're going to go deep. They're going to go deep. They're going to hang out by the rocks in the gravel, find some shade, some holes, um, stuff like that to hide and feed off of. As you guys see, in Oshkosh, I, had, I didn't catch any more fish in Burlington, which is five feet of water, max. I moved up to Oshkosh fishing in like 15 to 25 feet of water and I've become very successful like wow I, I I actually know something here that's just my tip for you guys so if it's been hot for a whole week and you've been sweating smelling haven't showered yet haven't cut your hair um go deep all right go deep cast deep find deeper water use the Navionics app I made a video of that use the Navionics app learn your structure of the river system body water whatever and cast into the deepest hole and just let your bait sit there so with that being said hopefully this video was informative again i thank you guys for watching my video i know this video was not your typical dean's catching fish out there i don't catch fish all the time guys i like to relax watch anime eat pho. i love eating i love eating fish and all that I, I like to sit around too right hang on my family yeah with that being said hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you guys haven't yet hit that subscribe button if you guys want to see more videos just like this don't forget to leave that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and leave some comments down below. If you guys want to know more, just just don't feel like you're going to bug me, okay? Just comment, and I'll do my best to get back to you guys. I get a lot of comments, get a lot of emails, get a lot of, hey, this and that, this and that. I try, okay? I try. So, with that being said, I'll see you guys on the water. Wear your mask. Stop the spread.